Ta-da! So the backlight is coming on at the start uh, very briefly and then going straight back off again. Um, there is a picture and the um, if you turn all the lights off and shine a torch on it you can just about make out a picture. So um, I think the first thing we start with is the inverter board. Um, the inverter board? Anyway, uh, the board that makes the high power for the um, for the tubes. So let's spin this around so you can see what I'm doing. Right, so this is the board we're looking at. Um, just see if we've got a signal to it and what's happening with that signal. Because um, I am pretty sure um, that I fixed one of these before and it had um, diodes um, on the input to the board. So one coming off the live to signal and then one from signal to ground and then it again at the, the other end of the board it had exactly the same one of the diodes on the live side um, was uh, faulty I set that one diode out and the whole thing sprung into life so hopefully we'll have the same joy this time God willing There's our input signal, and caution, high voltage, ooh, yummy. So it's, uh, I'm going to figure out which one of these it is that uh, brings that signal in. So this splits into two, so the one half of the cable comes straight from the power supply and then we've got another one which comes from here. Um, so one of those will be the signal to turn it on. We've just got to figure out which one that is and measure the voltage. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, um, I've actually got a um, TV identical to this one and um, I've tested it with all the known working boards and it all acts exactly the same. Backlight comes on and then goes straight back off again after about a second. So um, I've stripped the LCD out and uh, on the internet it actually says about the uh, tubes in the back are probably faulty and lo and behold I've started taking it apart and um, I found a wire that's actually looks like it burned off. So um, I'm going to take it apart and have a look to see if I can't fix that wire back on wherever it uh, came from. So uh, yeah, we'll uh, give it a go and see what happens. Right, I managed to get the screen off and um, well, screen apart rather. So um, we've now got to solder the wire back on the end of here. Um, and then hopefully that should fix the problem. Um, no guarantees, but give it a go because, well, I haven't done this before, so it'd be interesting.
Sorry. Red to bottom. <clears throat> Bear in mind that that goes like that. Doesn't leave us a lot of room. easier. I'm better. all back together and we'll see if that works. Right, let's reassemble that to what goes in next. Right, we'll reinstall this back in the frame and we'll be back, see if it works. Well, after all that, um, same symptoms, uh, backlight comes on for a few seconds and goes straight back off again, so um, obviously when that cable went it obviously took the uh, tube with it. So um, yeah, it's not really worth doing much to this, I mean you can get uh, LED conversion kits for them. So I'll have a look on eBay and I can get the LEDs uh, which are 490 millimeters. So there's two of them. One goes here and one goes here. Um, and then you get then a converter board uh, which uh, enables you to uh, adjust your brightness. So in all that's £16.78 but I mean I've already spent best part of two hours on this. Um, and uh, you'd have to spend probably another hour or more to convert it because I'd have to take all the screen apart again, um, take the CFL tubes out, uh, put LEDs in, put it all back together again and um, so you know I mean even if you charge £10 an hour that's 40 quid um, plus your parts so um, 50 60 quid total to fix it uh, which isn't worth it because you can buy a new one for less than that or you can even pick one up second hand for way less than that so yeah not really worth doing much with but there you go you win some you lose some <laughs>